All right. But yep, women in the NFL is one thing we do. Another really cool thing we do is we highlight a cause in the NFL. Show another clip that kind of highlights what the cause in the NFL is all about. <laughs> I think it's really nice that someone like Hayden Hurst is coming out and being like, look, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. I'm a big tough football player and look at me like I went through it too like anybody can go through it doesn't matter how like if you're an athlete if you're a man all right so that was just a little highlight from cause in the NFL last year we talked about Hayden Hurst and his foundation that helps people with mental illnesses but we've talked about a ton I know we talked about the vision one we talked about um gosh what's uh, for the brand about like animals and like animals having cancer and all that stuff. So we talk about a ton of different causes that players in the NFL or people closely connected to the NFL run essentially. And this week we're doing the Mike Evans Family Foundation, which Kate looked into. Yeah. Um, do we want to run the video first or do we want me to talk? Um, whatever you would like. Okay, I'll just start giving a brief synopsis. Um, <laughs> it's really quite a sad story on why he started this foundation. He grew up in a house with domestic violence in the fact that at the age of nine, his mother's brother killed his father because of the domestic violence that was going on in his house. He was nine years old. He had no clue what was going on. Sorry if I get emotional. His father was his hero and he really looked up to his father. So to know that his uncle, his mother's brother had killed him, his mother became pregnant with Mike at 14. Wow. So there was a lot of history in that family where, you know, of he like one time shoved a can up her mouth and broke her face. And that was one of the last straws that broke the back of his uncle. So his uncle is now serving a sentence in prison and his mother always went to visit his uncle and took the children with him. Mike's got a younger sister. And so because of all the domestic violence and the situation he grew up in, Mike turned to football as his outlet and then he got a very good scholarship which saved his life to Texas A&M where he excelled in football and excelled so much that he got drafted into the NFL and, at, and it was truly what saved his life because he grew up in such a rough home, rough background and he grew up really wanting to give back and figure out how to give back, how to turn pain into something amazing because he had a lot of pain in his life. So he started this foundation with his wife, Ashley, in 2017 to start helping kids that couldn't afford scholarships, afford college to get them scholarships. And he, they really look at families impacted by domestic violence and helping them either get out of the situation, help them relocate, help the mom or the dad, whoever is the victim and the kids in those situations have a better life. And he does a lot of dinners to raise funds for these, this foundation. He does a lot in the community in Tampa where he's currently at playing to better everybody and he just wants everyone to have a better life and not to have the debt and not to have the burden to carry all of that with them because he's learned to forgive his uncle for doing what he did he understands why he did what he did it wasn't easy for him as a young man growing up but he's very blessed and fortunate that he had football as his outlet to become the man he is today. And I think Mike Evans is one of the most extraordinary men in the NFL. And he's one of the best receivers in the NFL. And he's turned what could have been a road that he led down to follow what has gone on in his life to something really amazing. So 
that is the Mike Evans Foundation in a nutshell, but you have to know the backstory to know why he's created this foundation and why he and his wife feel so passionately about helping these children and helping these families and students so that they can have better lives. Well, Champ Mike Evans and his wife, they, they spend a lot of time giving back to the community here in Tampa Bay, and they do it through the Mike Evans Foundation. Let's tell you a little bit about that. Evans started this foundation in 2017, providing scholarships to kids to go to college. Evans says he wouldn't have been able to attend Texas without a scholarship himself. He went to Texas A&M, had a heck of a college career. The foundation also focuses on fighting domestic violence and helping support family and kids who are going through that difficult time. He knows that, you know, the fans come to games every week. He wants to be able to, you know, give back to them as much as they support him and have supported him this entire time. Um, and he just really wants to make a difference and be able to help the people that need it. For the first time, the foundation gave 13 students $5,000 scholarships this year. The foundation's gala is coming up at the end of the year where they will honor 13 leaders in Tampa Bay. You can nominate a leader now as well. Just go to abcactionnews.com slash bucks to find out how. So there's the Mike Evans Foundation. So he's a pretty incredible man, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. I had no idea anything about his background, so that was really interesting. I mean, obviously, Mike Evans is, like, a phenomenal football player, but you would have never guessed that was his background based on where he's at now. So it's nice to see that, hey, you can come from, like, a really not great situation and come out on top. So that was – I had no idea any of that stuff about him. And me ne me neither. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You're right. I'm with you, Ash. Thank you, Kate, for bringing – this foundation to light for us and uh, now we know like a lot of the things that he overcame and the fact that he's so successful as he is but wants to give back I think is amazing so thank you for talking about Mike Evans and his foundation you're welcome yes that's another reason I love cause in the NFL though too is because you learn so much about people that's bigger than football and you really become huge fans of it like I am absolutely in love with Mike Evans now who I is a good football player, I guess, but never really thought anything more of it than that. But now I'm like, I really want him to succeed after learning all that about him. So it's that's awesome. amazing to know all these players, they all have a story. Mm -hmm. They all have a past. They all have a story. And when they have not the greatest story that what they've done with their lives to make it better. And I love that they give back because they have the means to give back. Yes. And they're just not sitting in their big houses mm -hmm. and it's all about them. Yeah. And it's nice too, because there's a lot of not great news that comes out of the NFL at times. So it's nice to focus on like what, it, what good is coming out of these guys. Instead right. Of just always like what makes a good news story that is drama and just not great. So. Right. I love right. it. The cause is one of my favorite things we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.